Hey everybody. So we got a big house and garage slab we're forming up. We've got styrofoam right there. It all gets styrofoam under it. The the edges are all haunched out, dug deeper. That gets styrofoam. We're just getting our boards screwed together so we can put them on the styrofoam after the styrofoam gets laid in so they don't blow all over the place. We're actually got a guy coming out with a uh, to set all our corners for us so we can make sure we're perfectly square. He's going to use one of those satellite scanners to, to get all our corner pins for us. Um, the sat the styrofoam's got to go in first and he's going to pin down through the styrofoam. But this is the next project coming up. Big project, about 2,800 square feet of garage and house. We're going to pour it all at once so we'll keep you posted on how that's going. This uh, big house and garage slab we're working on here is about 3,000 square feet. We got the forms all up, set to grade, square. Now some of the other subs are coming in doing their stuff. We got poly going down, we got styrofoam. We got radiant heat going on top of that, so we'll have to wait for that. Um, we're digging a water line over here, so they can get the water line in. All the other plumbing's been put in and inspected. So it's just a matter of finishing up a few loose ends. Luke and I are going around, we're putting our kickers on now to keep all the forms straight when we pour this. We're going to dangle pump it. I think it's around 55 yards. Here they are digging the water line in, getting that in under our form. So they'll get that water line in and they'll fill that all back in, bury it, compact it. But we're going to get these, these kickers on. We usually like to kick the forms in just a little bit, then when we pour concrete against them, we'll tap them out straight. That's what we got the string line on there for. But that's what we're here doing today. This is why I don't need to buy this equipment around here. You know, in our area, all kinds of guys have this stuff. These excavator contractors, they're everywhere. So, I mean, why should I go out and buy that stuff when I can just hire these guys to do it? Put a mock up on their price, make money while they're working, while I'm doing my concrete stuff. So. I don't know, for you guys in different parts of the country, it's different around here. There's, there's excavating contractors all over the place here, and there's good ones, and there's not so good ones, but you hire a good one to come in, they already got the equipment, they, do, they grade it really nice, they pack it good, they know what they're doing. There's no reason for me to have to do that stuff. I'll, I'll do my concrete work. All right, so we got it almost ready. We got the, most of the wire down. Heating guys are putting the radiant tubing down. They're almost done. They got a little section to do over there. Get the wire down. We got the rebar to put in the haunches. And we'll be pretty much ready to pour. 55 yards is what it figures. So we'll see what it ends up taking. Just getting going here this morning. Got a 60 yard slab we're doing way up there. Pump truck just showed up. It's 5.30 in the morning. Uh, we're going to get the tools unloaded. Everybody should be showing up here. We got uh, a bunch of guys showing up. And we got concrete truck showing up 7 a.m. so about 5 45 right now all right that was the second truck first truck's here mixing up get ready to go it's 7 a.m. pump guy's ready to go he's gonna prime out over there get this stuff mixed up Let's see what it looks like and then we'll get it primed out and then we can add a little bit of water to it if we want. So he's gonna get that, get that primed out over here. He puts uh, some liquid in there called Slick Willy. And then that pushes the, that helps the creed get through the hose a little bit better. So we want to make sure we get all that out before we put it in the floor. That's it. Be ready to go. All right, so it's about 9.45. We got it all in. We had to wait probably 30 minutes for the balance load. That's the six truck. So six, ten and a half yards it took. And five of them the first five we get we were in had it in by like 8 45 
And then he had to re-trip all the way back to the plant, which was a 45 minute drive, and then come back. That's all the trucks they had for us. But we got it. So it's just sitting here waiting for us now. You see there's quite a bit of bleed water on there. But it's firming up. We could tell it's firming up pretty good, so it shouldn't be too long before we get on it. All right, so it's 10.30. Started pouring at 7 this morning. First two or three trucks are getting pretty firm. There's still a little bit of slime on the surface. We're kind of hoping that dries up. We're going to go out and just check with the power trial. That first, the very first load, pretty firm. Darren's just going to check it, see if it's ready to, to hit or not. If it's not, he'll just shut it off. Sometimes we'll just do around the edges a little bit and make sure we got them all magged and trialed really good and just let the rest of it sit for a little bit. Let's go check that out. Yeah, it's not too bad, you can see. Most of the water is dried up here. So this isn't too, too bad. It's really firm. He's not even sinking in as he's, as he's walking on it. But there's, that's the trouble with pouring on plastic and styrofoam. You get all that, that mixed water that's got to come up and evaporate. And on a day like today where it's cloudy, it doesn't evaporate very fast. So he just, he'll do a little bit there and then shut it off and we'll wait a little bit longer. All right, so it's 11.30 now in the morning still. She's uh, starting to dry pretty good. We've still got that last load we're gonna be waiting on, but the rest of it's going pretty good. We got Darren over there hitting it for the first time. Broke out the big four-footer today, so Luke's over here hitting this. This is actually the third hit on this load. I mean, it's starting to dry pretty good. It's so cloudy, no sun today. It's about, it's in the 60s. So I think it's just going to be slow and steady here today. That's, that's going to be okay. So it's about 12.15. As you can see, started to rain. We got a little shower here. We got quite a bit of it power trial. We still haven't power trialed that last load, that, but, it's, but it was just about ready. But the only thing you can do is just wait it out now. It shows on the radar. It's just a slight, small little shower rolling through. So hopefully it'll stop here pretty quick. Then we gotta let that water kind of dry up before we can power trial it. Well, that might maybe we'll have to squeegee it off, but for now it's just a waiting game. All right, so it rained for about an hour from about 12 o'clock to one o'clock. We just had to sit there and let it rain. So now we're, we squeegeed off a ton of water and you can see it's drying up pretty fast. So now we're just getting back on it, make sure we get down what we gotta get down. And it's going to dry fast as long as it doesn't rain again. We'll just stay with it, and it should it should come out fine. Everything should be all right. It's just a matter of not being out there power trialing while it's raining. So I, I think we're going to be okay. We'll check back in about a half hour. It's always a battle when you get rained on, and then you know the, the rain stops, and then you got a power trial. You know you want you want to let that water dry up as much as possible. And then, boy, when it does dry, it goes fast. So we almost got it, though. You can see some of it's done. Some of it way back there is shined out and done. This all pot up here where Luke's hitting is all really, really good. Darren's just hitting this last road. He's hit it a couple times already, but now it's really getting hard drying fast. So he's working up that last little bit. And uh, he'll get it. This will be done probably in about a half an hour. So it's just, it's just a matter of fighting it. It's always a battle. We would have been all done by now if it hadn't rained, but hey, can't, some things you just can't control and you gotta learn to deal with them. And we've been caught in the rain plenty of times, so we, we're kinda used to it. The Baron's got this end just about wrapped up. You can see it all shining out, it's all turning black. You know, an hour ago, this didn't even look like we could save it. Now it looks like glass. It's just beautiful. It's just as smooth as it could be. It's just what the guy's looking for. I mean, he's going to end up putting flooring over it anyway, but you can see how that's all all shined out up there. It's all black and out. So we, it's all perfectly smooth. 
And this was after, remember, this was after getting rained on for an hour. We had to work all that rain in. We actually squeegeed most of it off. Let it dry up a little bit, but you can see how it's, it's all turned into glass now. It's just as smooth as can be. So we, looks like we're going to save this one. All we got left is the saw. So we'll put the saw cuts in it, and that's it. We'll be out of here. We got the forms all stripped. Took the boards off. You can see we got the trailer all loaded. So that, we'll be out of here in probably 30 minutes. Just getting the saw cuts in. We saw cut all our slabs. We cut them up pretty good. This one's all getting covered with flooring, but we still like to control the cracks. That's it. We'll finish up this sarn and load her up and we'll get out of here. Good day. 3,000 square feet, 63 yards. About 4.30 in the afternoon right now.